History was finally made on November 14, 2024, when the Spanish airline Iberia made the world's first XLR transatlantic flight between Madrid and Boston. The A321 XLR is a narrow-body airplane that can fly further than any other. Its maximum range is 4,700 nautical miles, and its ETOP certification is 180 minutes. Combined with its excellent fuel efficiency, these two characteristics have immediately broadened Iberia's route opening possibilities. In this brief Airways Magazine video, we will dive into the potential network development the A321 XLR could bring to the Spanish flag carrier and which new pairs of destinations could be connected in the future based on our research and understanding of the commercial aviation market. Remember that these are our own thoughts and proposals, and Iberia has not confirmed the intention to open new routes to any of the following destinations. With that being said, let's begin. The Airbus A321 XLR debuted intercontinental a few days ago, connecting Iberia's hub, Madrid, with Boston Logan Airport in the United States. The US is one of Iberia's favorite countries, as the airline already operates flights to seven other American cities, including New York, Miami, Chicago, Dallas, Washington, D.C., Los Angeles, and San Francisco. Given the very strong partnership Iberia currently holds with American Airlines through the Atlantic Joint Business in One World, one path the carrier could follow from now on is to connect Madrid with even more American Airlines hubs in the continental United States. The XLR's range now allows direct flights to hubs like Philadelphia or Charlotte, even with a few weekly frequencies, expanding its presence in the North Atlantic with more connections between Western Europe and the US. Moving north now, we have seen that Iberia serves no routes between Spain and Canada. Passengers can only fly between the second largest country and Spain on board Canadian airlines, such as Air Canada, WestJet, and Air Transat, which also uses the A321LR to fly between Montreal and Madrid. To break this enormous imbalance in this air corridor, we could see an attempt by Iberia to launch non-stop flights between the Spanish capital and Montreal or Toronto. Now that transatlantic flights with much fewer passengers are possible, thanks to the Airbus A321 XLR. Remember that the Iberia A321 XLR is configured in a dual seat layout, featuring 14 business class suites and 168 economy class seats totaling 182 passengers on each flight. The XLR can carry more than 100 passengers less than the next smallest plane in the fleet, the A330-200, which has a capacity of 288 passengers. Let's focus now on two different continents. Even though Iberia's prime market is transatlantic flights, the Spanish flag carrier has seen progressive growth eastward with the launch of flights to Japan in the Middle East, especially to its close partner, Qatar Airways hub, Doha Hamad Airport. At the moment, Iberia has shown eagerness to operate flights to Asia. With the arrival of the XLR, we may see additional attempts to connect mid-sized cities in the Middle East, such as Jeddah and Riyadh in Saudi Arabia, or Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. These three cities could be an interesting fit in the Iberia long-haul network. However, to break even in these routes, the airline must face very hard competition from two giant airlines, Saudi and Emirates. Despite this, there is one additional city that would serve as one additional stopover destination for Iberia customers on their way to Southeast Asia. Oman Air is expected to join the One World Alliance in 2025, and with that, a new connecting hub will open its gates to Iberia in the capital city, Muscat. Demand will still be lower than on flights to Doha, but it could be just enough to profitably schedule the A321 XLR on a pair of weekly flights between Spain and Oman. Finally, the last continent we would like to mention is Africa. Compared to other regions, Iberia's African network is still very sparse, with just five routes connecting Madrid with Cairo and Egypt, Algiers and Algeria, Casablanca and Marrakech and Morocco, and Dakar and Senegal. However, one additional crucial destination was once part of the airline's network. Still, it needed to be canceled during the COVID-19 pandemic due to the lack of a proper, efficient airplane to operate those flights. We are talking about Malabo, the capital of Equatorial Guinea, which once was a colony of the Spanish Kingdom and today shares enormous cultural bonds with the European country. Former colonial bonds are one of the main reasons airlines consider launching routes between pairs of cities. In Portugal, for example, TP Air Portugal has an extensive African network 
with weekly flights to Mozambique, Angola, Sao Tome, and Principe, or Senegal, offering friends and families a comfortable way to travel between Africa and Europe. Now that Iberia has a proper airplane to test potential route possibilities worldwide, the airline could try again to reinstate flights to Equatorial Guinea using the Airbus A321 XLR from Madrid. What are your thoughts about Iberia's A321 XLR and what other routes do you think the airline will launch soon? Leave a comment with your opinion regarding the airplane and its potential and get a chance to be featured in our upcoming print edition, which is available online or in your nearest kiosk. If you want to know more about the welcoming ceremony Iberia celebrated after the delivery of the A321 XLR, make sure to watch our latest video.